Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide how to adjust and commission generator AVR automatic voltage regulator part. In this part, we're going to learn how to adjust droop, I limit, and trim A1, A2 control. Let's get started. Parallel droop circuit. Parallel droop is essential to eliminate circulating current created by excitation differences, different voltage levels, when generators are in parallel. In this example, there is a 10 volt difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2. The generators are first synchronized and CB1, CB2 are closed. The resultant bus bar voltage will be 405 volts, as the voltages cannot be different when the generators are parallel together. Circulating current. Lagging power factor current is now flowing out of Gen 2. Leading power factor current is now flowing into Gen 1. The circulating current could be as high or much higher than full load amperes and must be eliminated by the parallel droop equipment. AVR controls. Parallel droop circuit. The parallel droop circuit is required for reactive load current sharing when in parallel with other generators and or the main supply, grid, or utility. The droop circuit requires a current signal from a current transformer, droop CT which is connected to terminals S1, S2 on the AVR. Clockwise rotation of the droop trimmer will increase the level of voltage droop. Droop facility is not available on SX460 AVR. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to support PowerTech Insights and keep learning with more tutorials. Parallel Droop CT Input Circuit the current signal from the droop CT secondary winding is converted into a voltage drop signal across the burden resistor. Note, correct polarity of the droop CT is important. Typical droop CT, 12 wire machine connection shown in this picture. This picture shows you typical droop CT, 6 ends out machine. This is the vector diagram for droop CT current 12 wire reconnectable machine. This is vector diagram for quadrature droop CT at power factor 1. Active current, power factor 1, has a very small effect on the AVR sensing supply. Active current is the kilowatt component of the load current. This is the vector diagram for quadrature droop CT at power factor 0, lagging. What less reactive current, power factor 0 lagging, has maximum effect on the AVR sensing. The resultant signal adds directly to the AVR sensing supply. This is the vector diagram for quadrature droop CT at power factor zero, leading. Circulating current flows out of the generator, which is higher excitation. This machine is trying to make the bus bar voltage higher and into the generator with lower excitation. This generator is trying to make the bus bar voltage lower. Setting the droop circuit for parallel operation the droop adjustment is made on each generator in single running mode. All generators must be set to the same voltage and frequency. Check that the droop CT is in the correct phase and has the correct current rating for the main conductors attached. Checking the droop circuit for reversal. Turn the droop trimmer fully clockwise. Run the generator singly and apply as much inductive load as possible 25% full load current or higher, if possible, will give an effective result. Accurately measure the output voltage at the generator main terminals. Short circuit the droop CT across S1 and S2 on AVR. If the output voltage rises slightly, the droop CT is correct polarity. If the output voltage falls slightly, the droop CT is reversed. To correct, Simply reverse S1 and S2 droop CT connections on the AVR. Alternative method for checking reversal of the droop circuit. Turn the droop trimmer fully clockwise. Run the generator singly and apply as much rest of load as possible. Accurately measure the output voltage at the generator main terminals. Apply 2 by 10 volt for 1,700 to 10,000 microfarad electrolytic capacitors connected in series, negative to negative, across S1 and S2 on the AVR. If the output voltage rises slightly, the droop CT is correct polarity. If the output voltage falls slightly, the droop CT is reversed. To correct, simply reverse S1 and S2 droop CT connections on the AVR. 
Setting the droop circuit for parallel operation. The droop circuit is now correctly set for parallel operation. Always make sure that the voltages are set equally on each generator at no load before synchronizing the sets with the generator sharing active current. The reactive current should be equally shared. Any discrepancy in reactive current sharing should be adjusted on the droop trimmer, not the voltage trimmer. Very large reactive current surges indicate that one or more droop kits are working in reverse. Typically, a generator with reverse droop will go lagging power factor and the excitation volts will be high. AVR controls, I limit. I limit facility is available on AVR types MX321 and MA325 and MA327. The I limit control works in conjunction with the AVR input terminals S1, S2. The S1, S2 terminals accept a current transformer, CT, signal from each phase. The CT in blue phase also doubles as a droop signal for parallel operation. Clockwise rotation of the I limit control will increase the level of short circuit current. Trim control auxiliary input terminal A1, A2. The trim control works in conjunction with the AVR input terminals A1, A2. The A1, A2 terminals accept AD.C signal of up to plus 5 VDC. This is the output from the power factor controller used for systems synchronized to the utility. Clockwise rotation of the trim control will increase the level of signal. Auxiliary input A1, A2, and trim are not available on AVR Type SX460. With trim fully anti-clockwise, the circuit has zero effect on output voltage. With trim fully clockwise, the circuit has maximum effect on output voltage. This will allow up to plus or 15% variation of the mains utility voltage. The fully clockwise setting will be normal when operating with the PFC3. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.